Okay, we have a little bit of RP. And sure enough, these are fully grown. There we go. So now this door is open. It's actually a save point here. So at some point I'll be messing with all this stuff. For now. Let's move on. Um, let's see, we're here, so let's head to the right first. Alright, Dark Slimes. More Dead Slimes. <laughs> there are some Mining Rocks there, but I will not be messing with that yet. I instead intend to take down all the machines in this entire area. Or, wait, no, I might need to grow crops. Dang, I think I need to grow crops again. Well, might as well take down the enemies just to show off the enemies. Yeah. Let me guess, this door is locked and needs... Yep, it's locked. I'll need to find the key to get... Oh, right. This is a different one. I completely forgot about this. Oh. New enemy type. These, in later games, are like mimics or something, and I just got their drop. <laughs> um, I don't know if these are the Pakun box or the monster box. No, these are monster boxes, because they dropped the broken box. But the other one is a technically different enemy for some reason. Gotta love it. Alright, so we got the drop, and I'm pretty sure we only need one of them. I believe in later games, they're actually like monster boxes, mimics, and gobble boxes. I think those are the three kinds. Um, yeah, because Paku Paku is the sound of chewing or something or in Japan, so gobble makes sense for an Americanization of it. Alright, so we actually need to head out of this dungeon. Right, wrong one. So we no longer need to water everything in here, and the next time we come in here, it will probably be to beat it. The key to the ruins? Yeah, there's a locked door. I think you know something about it. I read a slate that says Golem is waiting in the ruins, but I haven't found out where the Golem is yet. Huh. Do I just have to say the word Golem or something? Um... Oh! Right, she's saying that we have to beat Golem to be able to move on. I'm remembering this now. I almost touched the poison again, because I'm just not being careful. Alright. The Dark Slime. HP 134, Attack 85, Defense 13. Its attacks are water-based, it can paralyze you, it can poison you, and it has a power attack. Should you tame one, it'll act as a combatant for you. And should you defeat them, they can drop Earth Crystals, Wind Crystals, and Fire Crystals. Level up! Alright, so... She's essentially saying that there's a golem somewhere in the ruins that we have to beat up. Gigantus. HP 148, Attack 91, Defense 16. Its attacks are wind-based, and has power attacks. Should you tame one, it'll act as a combatant for you, and should you defeat them, they can drop giant gloves and leather gloves. And I just got the drop from these enemies, and I'm pretty sure I only need one, so... Nice! We've only seen one area that had, suspiciously, no monsters. So I wonder if, what would happen now that we know about the golem in this area. The door closed, is this a trap? Hello, Golem. Is that a Golem? The Golem, also known as the Mini Golem. Its HP is 164, attack is roughly 50, and defense is 15. 
there's actually very little information on this online, so I actually did, had to do all the testing with a level 1 infinite health Raguna via emulator and figure out how this works. I was one-shotting it on my current playthrough. All of its attack topple you, and it can only use the one attack that it uses. It is untamable, as are all bosses, even if this is a mini-boss. And, unlike most bosses, it can actually drop the Golden Key, a required item for the dungeon. This is a bit of a weird situation where I'm not sure how these numbers correlate exactly to everything else, but I did this myself, so I'm fairly proud of that. So that's neat. Yep. Alright. The Golem dropped a key. This might just unlock that door. You picked up the golem's key. The door opened again. Yeah, that's... it. <laughs> it's not exactly difficult. Honestly, it's weaker than a lot of the regular enemies. I'm sure it probably hits hard or something, but that's really a non-concern for me. Also, I just realized I've probably been going for like an hour and a half now for this recording. Probably should have stopped before I started this day. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. This will be like... You know what? This will probably be a different episode. I'll probably have just cut it off there without even saying goodbye. Sorry, guys. I didn't realize this was a new episode. Oh, these are dark slimes, so I really shouldn't care about fighting them. Got a fire crystal. Yay. Uh, while I'm here, break one of these. Just this one all by itself and hope to get platinum. Gold. And like that, I'm immensely disappointed. The Heracles Beetle, also known as both the Hercules Beetle and the Heracross. HP 143, attack 86, defense 15. It can use a power attack, and all of its attacks can topple you. Should you tame them, they'll act as a combatant for you. Should you defeat them, they can drop Rigid Horns, Vital Gummy, and Flare Elements. These are, I believe, the Hercules Beetles? Or Heracross Beetle? Or something like that? The Monster Box. HP 117, Attack 74, Defense 15. It can use a power attack. Should you tame them, they can act as a combatant for you. Should you defeat them, they can drop Broken Box, Aquamarine, and Emeralds. The Gobble Box, also known as the Pakun Box. HP 135, Attack 87, Defense 17. Its name actually comes from Paku Paku, the onomatopoeia of chewing in Japan. It can use the power attack. Should you tame them, they'll act as a combatant for you. And should you defeat them, they can drop an amethyst, a ruby, or a sapphire. Okay. Now. Alright, the golem's key should work. Um. Was there something over to the right as well? I don't remember how this split works, to be honest. I think I need to go left first. I, I normally prefer to go left anyway. I... No... Yeah, yeah, no, this is right. Oh, oh right, this is a, just a mining spot. So, since this is all by itself and kind of showing off, I'm gonna assume it's a good mining spot. I mean, yeah, I don't really need more emeralds, it's just taking up space, and I don't care about money. Platinum. Finally. Alright. That's awesome. That is amazing. I believe I need two pieces, though, so, you know, I might just have to remember this for later and come back. Yep. Alright. It's fine. I'll break some more before I officially leave for the day. Made me smile from ear to ear. Now I believe this is another important enemy type. The Hell Spider. HP 137, Attack 91, Defense 17. 
Its attacks are water-based. It can critical hit you, and it can poison you. Should you tame them, they'll act as a combatant for you. Should you defeat them, they can drop earth crystals and pretty string. Oh, it wasn't actually the enemy I was imagining, but... Ah, yeah, of course you poisoned me. It's fine. I like being poisoned, actually. See? Well, just let me run right through that little area. The Shindra. Once again, their HP is 62, attack is 40, defense is 3. All of their attacks are water-based. They can use water laser and cure. Should you tame them, they can water your crops for you. Should you defeat them, they can drop water crystals, agua element, or the agua sword. This is the same enemy we fought before. Nothing new. Ah, forgot you were here. Why the heck is a tundra here, of all things? Grab some more of this while I'm here. Wait, is this... So what are we, just a save point? Alright. Yeah, I guess there isn't a save point before the boss, I don't think, so that would be the closest you can get. Still not the enemy I thought. Maybe the final spawner is the one that has the enemy I'm thinking of. Those ones are important and all, but yep, this is it. The fairies. The fairy. HP 129, attack 60, defense 18. Its attacks are water-based. It can seal you, it can use the spell Swordstorm, and the spell Cure. Should you tame them, they'll act as a combatant for you. And should you defeat them, they can drop Water Crystals, Fairy Powder, and Agua Element. And I'm about to level up, so might as well do it. No? That wasn't enough experience? Okay. Whatever, the boss will be the thing to push me over the edge, I guess. If I can beat it. <laughs> Always the big thing. Let's do this. Here we go. That thing's enormous. It's way bigger than the one I fought before. This, I believe, is G Golem. Golem? No, I was so sure they were the these were the Grimoire's ruins. Sharon. No, this can't be. Sharon, please stand back. It's too dangerous. Oh, okay. Or, I guess the Giant Golem is what G would stand for. The Giant Golem. HP 1680. Defense 11. Magic Defense 6. Fire Defense 50. Wind Defense 20. Earth Defense 30, and Water Defense 30. Should you be a lower level at this point, my recommendation is to use a wind-based weapon or spell. It is weak to that. Its attacks include a rocket punch, a mortar, and a spin, and most of its attacks can topple you. As you deal more damage and it goes into its critical state, it can attack faster and faster, evenly using the rocket punch and mortar at the same time. Like most bosses, it'll drop nothing when you defeat it. And like all bosses, it is untamable. This one is a bit of a tough one should you be underleveled, but should you, you know, have spent all your time grinding up items like I have, you shouldn't have a huge issue with it. Yeah, so it can't hit the widespread area unless it uses an attack like that. Yeah, for my level, I really should just try to beat it to death as fast as possible. Because it's only dealing one damage per hit. There we go. The giant Golem is down. I thought that was the Grimoire might be here, but it looks like I was just imagining things. Just because it isn't here doesn't mean it's not somewhere else. Thank you, Raguna. You really are kind, you know? I think you're right. I think it really does exist. That's the spirit. Was that goal me able to return to his own world? Yes, I used a return in weapon, so it's safe. So... I... Yeah, no, it's fine. I'll, I'll just leave it at that. That's a relief. Still, there's been such an increase in monsters inside these ruins lately. 
You mean because of those devices? Exactly. Those weren't here before, and the only people I know who can engineer things like that are... The Empire. Bingo. The question is, why would they want to place those around this town? I don't know, but I'm trying my hardest to find out. Why are you so intent on doing so, Riguna? You're not even from this town. I wish I could answer that, but I don't even know myself. Oh, come on. It's simple, really. Miss, you... you know why? Sure, Raguna, despite where you may have lived before, you're now a resident of Cardia. A resident? Uh-huh. Everyone in this town feels that way. But I don't even know who I am. How can they accept someone they don't even know? I mean, it's not like they're all at ten friendship with me right now. You're a young man living together with the land and other here's in Cardia. Isn't that all that matters? I... I guess so. That makes me feel kind of good about myself. That is the perfect description of Raguna. A young man living in blah blah blah. <laughs> Raguna, that's good enough for me, too. Thank you. Now then, let's head back to town. To our town. Okay. And we did it. We beat the dungeon. And before I actually return, I think I'm going to crack open some uh, rocks down here. See if I can't get myself a second platinum. There's some somewhere around here. Do I have to go all the way back over here? There were some up there, but... Um, I know there were some over here. Unlucky, it appears. I might just have to return back to that spot tomorrow. Or, you know, I could actually just return, heal, and come back here. I forgot, this isn't a daily thing. This is a leave the dungeon, come back, they magically respawn kind of deal. Cool. Hello. Herguna, maybe you're the only one who can teach me about the world. Oh. She thinks we're smart. What a fool. <laughs> I am Raguna. I am Derp. Right. Holiday. So they're not working. They might be up here, but they're more than likely out and about like a church and all that. Yeah. I guess I'll head to the chapel rather than here. Um, because it's not 3 p.m. yet, they may still be here or it may be noon. It's noon. Okay, so noon is when they get off, which if you get hurt after noon, well, that sucks to be you. Hello. Russell, the guy who runs the library, has a kind demeanor, but at times you get the feeling he's stern. Actually, I always dreamed of being a writer since I was a kid. I wonder where I went wrong and ended up as mayor. I wonder how Melody ended up as a bathhouse runner instead of a witch. Really, you guys all just went wrong somewhere. Hello. I wonder who would be next to me. I wonder who will be the next couple married in this church. Oh, hello, Grina. You come to church sometimes, too. Hello. Someday when I find that white stone, I can come here, too, and, and get... You come to church to pray, Raguna. You don't look the type. Hello. To live my life as prayer guides me, that is my duty. Always be thankful. So it doesn't look like I'll be able to hear the intermittent kind of thing today. People are kind of in different spots. Hello. I want to draw the delicacies around the Casimir ruin. Hello. Mr. Aguna, I'm glad you're okay. Hello. Darn it, you won again. Pretty awesome. Seems that Bianca's impressed with us. Good to hear. So at three, I'll be able to go in and actually take my bath. So I guess for now, I head into the inn. Please, come Don't in. get yourself killed or anything, okay, Raguna? Don't worry, I couldn't die if I wanted to. I'm too immortal. Your memory isn't coming back at all, is it? I wonder what happened. 
Well, now I'm content to watch over them from afar. I know Nicholas is fond of me. So he still has his whole storyline going on, which I can continue on at some point. Collecting information at bars is just another thing treasure hunters have got to do. But they say no kids allowed at nights. You'd think there'd be a treasure chest or something in caves, wouldn't you? But there ain't and there are any. None. Zip. Well, I mean, there aren't none. But the ones that I found tried to eat me, so... Welcome. Welcome! So what's it gonna be? Also, the other ones that I find are dropped off monsters, so, you know. Guna, people say you just came back from the Casimir Ruins. So he'll have dialogue for it, at least. Rakuna, you always stick to your task. Very manly. Okay, time to try to take on the Casimir Ruins once again. That way we can, you know, hopefully get some platinum to get the platinum hammer. From there we can make other platinum tools as well, but... Actually, I don't think I can do the platinum hammer. Give me one moment. I need to check, because I know that there's a special thing about the platinum level hammer. Oh, we either already have it, or can just easily get it. Cool. We need the hammer piece to make the Platinum Hammer, which I wasn't sure we had or not, and apparently it's in Clemens Cave. <laughs> yeah, awesome. There's my second Platinum. Hopefully I can get a little bit more, just so I can, you know, make it easier for later. If I can get one more, then I can upgrade past for another weapon. I did. Awesome. Let's see. So, I already have eight fields cleared. Come on, Gabe. I do that all the time. I walk straight into it. So, I have nine fields cleared. So, that means... I'm currently sitting at 81. So I'm sure I'm gonna have to fight some kind of enemy when I'm trying to clear more fields. Funny thing is, I don't even need to clear out... like, any of the wood or anything. Heck, actually, I'm just gonna do it all at once. Um, there's my hoe. I've missed it, so... That should actually be enough. If my math is correct. And if it's only 100. It might be 150 or something, and, well, I mean, then I have to come back in here. Assuming I even had to do that to begin with, I know some of the later ones are maybe just the final one. You don't actually have to clear any. Okay, time to see if we have any hammer pieces here at home. I'm pretty sure I ground one up, though. I guess I decided to wait since it was so far off. Okay, I need to come here to Tauros. Just for a moment. And just crack this open, and I'm hoping to get a piece of scrap iron. There we go. I also need this piece of iron. If we come over here to the forge and we put our sickle, two pieces of platinum, a piece of iron, a piece of scrap iron, and a piece of bronze. Wait, what? It's not the super sickle. Wait, I haven't made the super sickle yet? Why haven't I made the super sickle? That's confusing. Alright. If we take our sickle and three pieces of gold, we get the super sickle. That was weird. Now, the super sickle, two pieces of gold, piece of iron, piece of bronze, and a piece of scrap iron will make the legend sickle. The legendary sickle. Whichever one you want to call it. And that'll put us up to 57 forging. Neat. 
That was mostly just to clear out some inventory space. And now, since I have some time, I'm coming into Carmite Cave to grab the energy that's in here. Now we need to come into Clemens Cave because I need a hammer piece. So we just let it spawn and we kill it. Rinse, repeat. And it seems to want to spawn on the opposite side of the machine. Oh, nope. A battle hammer. A really bad weapon for our point in the game. Hammer piece. There we go. We stuck truer to ourselves and we managed to get it. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our gold hammer, two pieces of platinum, one hammer piece, it was four platinum. Shit, I've got rid of the platinum. So I made a mistake, it was four platinum, not two platinum. I thought it was like two pieces of gold after that and I got the recipe wrong. So we actually need to go back into Casimir and get two more platinum. Yeah, it, it's it's fine. Everything's great. And while we're in here, I'll grab this energy that I never grabbed before. Just because I don't like him. Well, a small crystal. Not bad. It's useful, at least. Piece of bronze. Bad. Garbage. Trash. Nope. Garbage. Okay. So I guess the best way to do this would actually be to save just a little bit before you, you know, head there and just kind of reload if you don't get what you need. It would save you time, I guess, going in and out. But I also need the experience for mining anyway, so yeah, whatever. Trash. Tear. Garbage. Yay! Now we make this one more time. Okay, so this is my last attempt, for today at least, and I can get up to four here. If it wants to be kind, I can get up to three here. I can get up to two here. Can I get one? No, I can't even get that. Alright, I'm done here. Alright, and I'm actually going to call the episode there. Guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. Uh, we'll probably be heading into the next cave to get some more ingredients for tool upgrades. We need one platinum just to make this hammer, and then we're golden. <laughs> uh, well, actually, we'll be platinum, not golden. Beyond that, um, we'll, since we're getting to the next cave, I should be able to upgrade my uh, fishing rod, and then we'll be able to head back into Misty Bloom and get all the fish there. We're in the final run, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye.